What's good boys, welcome back to another video. So today in this video, we're gonna be going over five Omnisphere tips that will instantly improve your workflow. So I'm not gonna go on for any longer, let's get straight into the video. Okay, so I've been using Omnisphere now for probably three or four months. And over this time of using it, I've discovered quite a few things that have helped me improve the speed of my working. So this isn't gonna be a long video, I'm just gonna go through kind of all the points that I've learned, all the best points even. Okay, so the first tip is when you're going through sounds, you often get a lot of shitty EDM sounds and just electronic sounds that aren't really good for kind of producing hip hop. So if you click this little left click where it says directory, all spexitronics, and change it to the Omnisphere library, and then shuffle it or kind of whatever you do, chances are the sounds are just a bit more interesting. So yeah, if you want to find some quick like sounds that are a bit better, obviously use the category um, kind of page anyway, or if you don't know, click the little magnifying glass icon up here and then there's loads of other genres you can go into. But I like to often just randomly pick a sound and see what I can make with it. Maybe not that. Okay, so the second tip is the sound match feature. So, this is useful if you have a nice sound that maybe kind of works along your, along your beat but doesn't necessarily fit in with the rest of your mix, then this kind of might help. So just find a nice sound. So let's find, what's this? Nah. That's pretty cool. So let's say we want a similar kind of bell synthy sound. Literally choose the patch you want and click the sound match at the top here. Once it's loaded, you'll be able to have loads of other patches that sound similar. So obviously these are bells, which you could just go through the bell folder, but a lot of, a lot of the time you'll find weird sounds on Omnisphere and it's just good to kind of get similar sounding sounds essentially. Okay, so this third tip is actually making use of these buttons at the bottom. Now, a lot of you might already do this, but I kind of just didn't at the start. I was just constantly clicking, um, but it is actually really useful. So you can use this button here to shuffle. So say you want to look through bells, just click the shuffle, and then you don't have to kind of go to the same ones you've already been scrolling to from the top. You can use your arrow keys to go through each patch, which is quite good. And you can also use this little play button to preview the sound. So there you can literally click through and then you're kind of getting a quicker way to hear the sound, potential sound. But obviously when you're loading in, make sure when it gets to preview ready, don't try and press play when it's on the red because some patches are really large and if you do this and you haven't got the best computer, then it'll probably fuck it up. Okay, so the fourth tip is to rename your patterns once you've got something in for Omnisphere. So I don't know if this happens to everyone, but a lot of the time I'll make a beat and come back to it in a week or so and the Omnisphere pattern will be there, but there'll just be no sound coming out. And then when I click onto the Omnisphere, it's like I've just opened Omnisphere for the first time. There's no patch been loaded. And obviously there's so many sounds on Omnisphere, so it's gonna take ages to find that sound again so try and get in the habit of renaming your patterns obviously just click the top left and rename if you can do this i'm still not fully in the habit of it but if you can do it then if that ever happens to you then you'll easily be able to go back and just change the patch and you won't lose quite a bit of your work okay so step five is more of a trick rather than a tip just something to experiment with really but basically you want to find a sound and then you can put it into a granulizer so it sounds a bit weird. Let's find a nice bell sound off something or guitar maybe. Let's use this. Right, so we're gonna take that sound and we're gonna granulize it. Right, so to do that, click the either of the oscillators. Let's go, actually we'll turn off this one. So it is just, it's just that one um, oscillator playing. So once you've kind of got your sound, you wanna click this little magnifying glass next to where it says oscillator and then go over to granulizer and turn it on. So, that's the sound on its own. And then just mess around with all the buttons really. So I've made an 8-bit noise, apparently. But that, that literally just come from a guitar. So you can imp also import your own sounds by going to Utility and clicking User Audio 
and then just choosing your sound there and then it will drag it into your user directory folder which is up here okay guys so that's been it for this video I do hope you've learned something from it um, have a mess around with the granulizer as well um, but as always make sure you leave a like if you enjoyed the video go comment down in the description oh my god I say that every time <laughs> <laughs> Go leave a comment down in the comments. Tell me what I can improve on. Tell me what you want to see next. But yeah, as always, have a good day and I'll see you later. Goodbye.